up, up, up. Yeah. So we have Ms. Sharbani Sen Gupta, who is um, having a rich experience of 20 years with uh, DHL. She is the VP customer service at DHL. And uh, she's had a prior experience of 10 years with financial services and sector. Um, so Ms. Sharbani, I think my first question to you is, um, reflecting on the 20 years of your journey uh, on uh, at DHL, what is it that as an individual that made you stay in this organization and you know helped you decide to grow in this organization? Um, <clears throat> thank you, Nikita. I'm, I'm really inspired to speak to someone like you uh, who's building Shopri as a brand uh, and making Indian products accessible across the world. Um, I think the same values that uh, engage you at the workplace, which is your personal beliefs, and personal values are very aligned to the organization that you've set up. Uh, at DHL, uh, from the day that I was interviewed, when I walked in 20 years ago, I realized that the core belief was to serve the community, was to serve the world, was to serve the employees. And our purpose is connecting people, improving lives, okay? Whether we deliver a vaccine or whether we deliver uh, life-saving medicines or whether we deliver a, a transcript and education uh, application okay dhl really believes in making a difference and it was very aligned to my core values so that is why i stayed back one number two is i love learning um, i have always been you know the uh, girl with two pigtails studying sitting in the front row of the class okay so uh at DHL, and fortunately, this industry has evolved so much over the last two decades. Uh, so it's been a journey of constantly learning along the way. And I think the third thing is that I uh, there's only one thing that makes us stay in a workplace, and that is every morning when you get up, okay? Do you want to come to work or do you want to stay home? But it's been so exciting. Uh, it's such a happy workplace. You know, we are very proud of the fact that we are a great place to work, number one. Uh, number two, actually, we were number one the year before, but we are now currently number two globally, okay? Wow. And I'm telling you, it's a very fine organization, a very happy place. So that's why I've stayed back for two decades. That's that's really amazing. Um, I think my second question is directed towards, you know, the noticeable influx of um, uh, Gen Z into the workforce. Um, and, you know, have you observed a paradigm shift in the culture? And, you know, how are you as an organization um, uh, adapting to the changing needs of this uh, cohort uh, coming into the workforce? Right. So when we interview uh, somebody who's either a Gen Z or a millennial, and by the way, in customer service, 70% of our people are either a Gen Z or a millennial person. Right. The questions that they ask you, uh, they ask you whether, uh, you know, you are driving sustainability and whether you're focusing on climate change and big questions like that, which are very relevant for us in the logistics industry. Right. And they are also very concerned about racial justice, about equality, about diversity. Uh, so this, again, is a, a very, very big uh core area for us which we are driving we are driving diversity equity inclusion and belonging so we tick these two boxes for the gen z and the third thing that they ask us is are we a hybrid place uh, how aware of we are we of the technologies that not only support our customers mm -hmm. but digitally are there solutions where they can work from home and we provide those solutions where we have Every call is recorded, whether you're at home or in the workplace. So uh, Gen Z knows that we have the technology to, uh, you know, uh, absolutely drive a hybrid work culture. Right. So these are the three big questions that we get. And that's how we drive this at the workplace. And I think we've done it fairly successfully because our attrition is in single digits, uh, something that we are, again, very proud of. Wow. Wow. That's that's interesting. Um. So I think that takes me to the next question, which is um, in this age of AI um, and ha being a person who's transgressed across eras of pre-internet, uh, internet boom and now AI, yeah, um, would you foresee as the three top qualities that a leader should develop uh, in the coming age? Oh, that's a very interesting question. There's a lot of research available by uh, various consultants 
uh, there's a lot of uh, surveys, but I remember it as the three C's. Okay. So the first is critical thinking. Okay. Right. If I were to ask uh, chat GPT to evaluate something for me, I know at the back end would be how many parameters? How many do you think? In trillions, right? Yeah. So uh, that's the platform it's built on, on trillions of parameters. But if I asked you to judge whether something was good or bad or to give me your thoughts, you're one person who was bringing this perspective. Right. So I think critical thinking will never go out of style, okay? And critical thinking will become even more important with Gen AI because then uh, generative AI is perpetuating history. We fed in history and it will perpetuate the same level of thinking. To right. bring in a new perspective, we must have critical thinking, okay? And connected to critical thinking is creativity, right. okay? So innovation, creativity. So the first C is critical thinking. The second C is creativity. And the third C is human compassion, okay? I, th right. I think no tool, no robo, however uh, much you build scripts of, sorry, please, thank you, oh, I'm so concerned. No human being can be replicated in terms of compassion. So the three C's that will differentiate us, and these are the skills that we must build because compassion too is a skill, right? Like empathy. How can I put myself in the other person's shoes, okay? Right. So critical thinking, creativity, and compassion, the three C's are the three skills that we should stay focused on in this uh, age of gen AI. Amazing. Um, I think, again, connecting to the, uh, uh, the new era of increasing consciousness towards sustainability and environment. Um, how is DHL, um, you know, uh, integrating sustainable practices across supply chain? And maybe um, if you can also sort of throw some light on how small businesses can, you know, uh, uh, with their budget constraints or whatever, uh, sort of inculcate this practice of sustainability from start. Okay. Um, so uh, I think... Uh businesses, small businesses, small only because of the virtue of the revenue size, uh, but small businesses can create a big impact in many small ways, adding up to uh, a lot, which is, you know, if you uh, drive the mindset of banning plastic bottles at the workplace and, you know, using uh, paper uh, cups, if you ban them and you use glass at the workplace, that would be a big step uh, using the right packaging materials so that your customers know, uh, you know, moving out of uh, paper-based files to electronic archives, databases. Uh, DHL also drives, you know, paperless trade. So if you promote this at the workplace, then I think you will be truly speaking about this message of how we can save our planet together and how each employee in your organization can make a difference. And customers will also see that. Uh, then I take the other question that you asked me, which is, uh, how is DHL uh, driving sustainability? Sustainability is a very big part of our agenda. Uh, we want to leave the planet in a uh, much better shape than we are currently in. Uh, and therefore, you know, uh, can I tell you which organization has the largest electronic vehicles on the road? It is us, DHL, okay? We have nearly 30,000 electronic vehicles on the road, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, we want to be net zero by 2050. So we have very ambitious targets in this uh, domain of sustainability. And in small and big ways, we are driving this. You as a customer, you can buy uh, or you can uh, sponsor our Go Green Plus product and we will use sustainable aviation fuel. Uh, so if you support this, then we will be driving greener sources of energy. So we will be driving decarbonization with our range of Go Green Plus products. So these are the various ways in which DHL is driving sustainability. That's right. I think we are in discussion with the team to sort of initiate the project. And even from a shop race perspective, I think Consolidation is a practice that we um, observe. Yes, it does reduce cost for the end consumer, but it also saves a lot of carbon uh, footprint, right? You're bringing product, I mean, packages from across the country, putting it all into one box and sending it to a, a location far away. So that's also at the heart of what we are uh, building. Um, I think the last thing that I want to kind of um, uh, end this with is um, 
what are three things that probably you would tell uh, your younger self 20 years ago and you know uh, which if you had known um, uh, you, you never know things could be different yeah uh, so the first thing I would tell them is uh, about mindfulness. The second thing is mindfulness. And the third thing is also mindfulness. Wow. <laughs> uh, I think uh, mindfulness can be a superpower and mindfulness can uh, be something that uh, will help you maximize your potential. Because if you are fully mindful uh, at every moment, if you can maximize this, okay, then even if somebody comes with a distracted mind, a half mind to a meeting, okay, if you are the most mindful person in the room, you will always score over that person, okay? Whether right. it's a right. meeting or whether it's in any interaction in life, okay? Mindfulness will maximize your potential and therefore maximize your performance. And if I may show a screen, uh, just something, it's a very small practice which we do at the workplace, which we have introduced. Uh, it's a very small uh, micro practice which you can do. So, uh, if you may share the screen, please. Um, and you want me to take that from the previous? I can take that. Okay, you take that from the previous then. Okay. okay. Fine. Because that was anyway pretty well. Uh, pretty short. Yeah, yeah pretty short. So. It was short, and I think that much space is required to understand that. Yes, right? yes. And focus also, you can end with the same thing I said. Sure. You know? Yeah. That we can't spell focus without CS. Right, right. Um, I think I'll just rephrase my um, uh, final things, right? Probably I'll summarize on the um, the value system, the um, uh, diversity and inclusion, um, profitability, and um, uh, yeah, I think those would be mindfulness, yeah. So um, thank you so much, Ms. Sharvani, for uh, taking, your time, taking your time off and um, discussing this with us. Um, I think for me, the biggest takeaway um, today is about um, aligning your values with the organization. Um, the three skills, which is your three P's, which is your um, critical thinking. Um, you know, um, uh, the second is, sorry, what was the second? I, I couldn't get the three C's. Uh, uh, critical thinking. Uh, the second one is. Critical thinking, creativity, and compassion. Creativity. Okay. You said innovation before. I'll, yeah, I'll, because I wanted to make it three yeah, C's. I think you remember, right? Came to me. <laughs> yeah. Really, yeah, I think I'll, I'll repeat that again. Um, thank you so much, Ms. Sharbani, for uh, spending time with us. I think um, uh, it's it's important for us to uh, interact with leaders like you to understand and learn and uh, move ahead. Um, I think the biggest learning for me has been the three C's that you highlighted, which is your critical thinking, um, uh, creativity, and, you know, um, uh, connection, uh, human connection, right? Um, love what you said, that that's something that need to be built as a leader. Um, and I think one single take, uh, takeaway, if I had to say, is about the mindfulness. There's nothing like it. And in a distracted world that we are in today, I think that one skill would help us go a long way. Um, so thank you so much. I'm hoping to interact with you uh, in future as well. Yes, I love the fact that Shopri is taking India to the world. More power to you, Nikita, and uh, continue to do well and wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.